What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. I want to break down exactly why SoFi went up as much as it did today, what the data behind the scenes is all saying, and why today is a very big day in the bigger picture. Before I get into any of that though, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that though, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to it though, this article is a very good summarization of exactly why we went up. And ultimately it does talk on how the fundamentals of not necessarily just SoFi, but a lot of stocks in the broader market were very, very oversold based on the technicals and many other attributing factors. But that is basically what is causing us to go up. It does say on here as well that most likely it's going to be transitioning from the lower to the higher percent of the boiling band, which typically there is a lot of resistance at that stage. That is what it's saying is the critical level. If it does fail to get over that, like I said, not necessarily just SoFi, but a lot of other growth stocks, then hypothetically, this is where they're saying that we could be entering into a long-term recession similar to 2008. So let me know your thoughts on that, but clearly a lot of value is being sought out in SoFi and a lot of other growth stocks. And you can see that based on institutional purchasing. So on the dark pool and also on the secondary market, Today was a little bit more of an abnormality. Big money was getting back in. Whereas over the last couple of weeks, they've had a noticeable pullback. So today is a little bit more of an abnormality, which is a very good thing. So that's basically what's happening behind the scenes. Still a level of fear in the market. Keep in mind though, I do anticipate this value rally, if you want to call it that, to continue on more so until this date. So October the 13th, that is when the next CPI data is coming out. Like I said, I could be completely wrong. This is not financial advice or anything, and I'm not a financial advisor. This is only for entertainment purposes, but I do see us more so being flat, if not green, and continuing this rally up until this point. So let me know your thoughts on that. A little bit more of an abnormal thing as well with short interest today. They are trying to double down and suppress SoFi because today, like I said, was a very big day. We actually broke out from that $5 restraint and like I've been saying it needs to be roughly about 10 consecutive days for them to be below that five dollar mark that's where a lot of institutions hypothetically might be thinking about selling that's where SoFi will be considered a penny stock and this is where they want to kind of do a reverse stock split and all that fun jazz that whole topic I'm sure a lot of people are really bored of hearing but shorts definitely did increase 2.79 million shares today which works out to be 2.65 percent short interest has gone down quite a lot but in the end though we still are currently at 13.82 let me know your thoughts on that latest news as well as far as the downloads for the actual website or for the app i should say has gone up and continues to go up and maintain itself which is always a very good thing based on september 2022 there was 80,000 downloads so definitely shows maybe the q3 numbers as far as number of customers joining so far will be once again very very high hopefully around the 50 percent but let me know your thoughts on that maybe a little bit too ambitious but unfortunately as you can see it does fall short a little bit from Weeble and Robinhood and eventually we will get to Robinhood's level more so in probably in the next year or so but I think right now we just need to establish a firm grounding continue to get good customers especially more so with that 2.5 percent APY that's definitely going to benefit a lot of customers and incentivize them to come over but generally speaking things are going up and like I said despite inflation and all that fun jazz we're maintaining ourselves so that's a good takeaway unfortunately though when it comes down to a website or an app you need it to work functionally all the time so I've been seeing this quite a lot so this was posted on Twitter it's basically saying that SoFi Invest has been down again and more so it's more a common trend so definitely something that SoFi needs to really jump all over and if there is a problem to fix it straight away because in reality you can't have this kind of stuff happen behind the scenes you can't have customers jump over and have a very poor customer experience so let me know your thoughts on that um, but it does look like based on this that the buy and sell buttons are gone so it's kind of pulling a little bit more of a robin hood and gamestop that whole fun jazz but i don't know uh, unfortunately i do live in canada well not unfortunate but you guys get what i'm saying i don't have sofi yet so sofi if you guys are listening or anthony make sure you guys come up north until then i will continue to uh, average down buy 
buy, buy, as I always do. But when it comes to it, though, like he even said in this article, technicals. Technicals is plain and simple why we went up as much as we did today. So looking here, I do have the 50, 100, 200 day moving averages, boiler bands, RSI, stochastic, and momentum. So momentum was a very nice change of events. So a number of retail investors were getting back in today, more so from last Thursday and GDP numbers. They started to pull back a little bit. But looking at stochastic, you can see us at eight and it being very, very low. That is exactly what this article is talking about and referring to. Ultimately, a lot of stocks are just very, very oversold. So it is overdue for a rally. So when these kind of situations happen, this is when a lot of value investors get in. Unfortunately, the negative side of value investors getting in, they usually are a little bit more short term. They don't think long term. So this is where we need to hold sufficient amount of gains in order for us to kind of continue this trend up. If not, it typically does hurt us in the grand scheme of things and we just kind of pull back. So let me know your thoughts and if you've been buying, selling, holding, whatever it might be, give yourself a shadow in the comments below. Our size also at 41, so still fairly neutral on the actual chart, lower percent of the Boilinger band as of still right now. And with that, just going to quickly pop over and talk on some Fibonacci. I like to always talk on the big support and resistance points. Currently $5.13, so we're trading between the S1 and the pivot. Like I've said in a lot of other videos, SoFi is actually doing fairly well compared to a lot of other growth stocks. A lot of other growth stocks are currently trading between the S3 and the S2, so a lot more hit than SoFi. So this is why when they're referring to this article, a lot of stocks and just the broader market is very, very oversold. So not necessarily just SoFi everything is oversold so in general though I think right now SoFi is going to do a lot of good things what you need to do is just find a good company that has a good balance sheet that's going to thrive in a higher interest rate environment buy it forget it whatever that's the best thing to do in the bigger picture obviously there's a lot of short-term noise and a lot of short-term volatility more so even with SoFi whereas if you do have a lot of money invested with SoFi a lot of these fluctuations could definitely do a lot of bad negative stress to your health and at the end of the day health is what matters and like I've been saying I've been investing since 2009 I've been through quite a few of these dips and what you need to do even when there's a lot of blood in the market you need to buy the dips and just just forget about it obviously find a good company fundamentally and so far is that one diamond in the rough so but once again this is only for entertainment purposes I'm just trying to make better investors in the bigger picture so let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe as always greatly appreciated if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that I appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on SoFi